Hey everybody, it's Adam Tracy, and I wanted to go through Cayman Islands crypto hedge funds, which account for about 50% of all crypto hedge funds, which when you compare it to traditional hedge funds, the Cayman Islands accounts for over 90%. And the process is, you know, to register a fund is fairly straightforward, much like any other Caribbean island. You have to go through SEMA, the securities regulator, to register the fund. And then the fund manager requires a separate registration, also through Seaman, which is akin to um, investment advisor type license. And the process for the investment manager can take three months or more and is somewhat difficult to navigate. And for that reason, even the world's largest hedge funds tend to have their investment managers located in BVI under their approved manager status and registration, which is literally just filling out like a two page form, paying a menial fee and waiting a couple weeks. So overwhelmingly, if you're going to do it in the Cayman Islands, as you would with even a major like equity fund, your manager is going to be located in the BVI just for cost and speed considerations. As it relates to the actual underpinnings of the fund, the, the actual cryptocurrency, there is a VASP license in the Cayman Islands. And to the extent that you are just simply managing and trading cryptocurrency within the fund, VASP registration isn't required, right? So it doesn't require like a secondary license, which you see in some places in Europe with uh, crypto-related hedge funds. All you need or the only time you would need a VASP license is if you are selling digital tokens for the fund. So if you were to tokenize your private limited company fund structure and sell those to investors as you know an indicia of cryptocurrency, an indicia of ownership, the sale of those tokenized securities would trigger the VASP Act in the Cayman Islands and you'd have to get that license as well. So, you know, the question becomes whether it's really worth it considering that there is no real market for tokenized securities. I mean, there's some nascent attempts. There's certainly none in the Cayman Islands. And moreover, just as a, just a general point, even for hedge funds in the traditional sense, there's no real liquid market to where you could trade an interest, right? You typically just redeem your interest when the redemption period opens up. So it's um, easy to avoid and it's probably not worth the gambit of, you know, tokenizing your fund security because there's really no benefit to it. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Yes, the registration of the fund with SEMA is a little more involved than BVI, you know, and it entails, amongst other things, providing a copy of the of the offering memorandum, an extensive, um, you know, application uh, document, and then some KYC on the owners and promoters of the fund. Whereas BVI, which I would imagine about 30% of the world's hedge, uh, crypto hedge funds are based, Again, it's really simple, especially like in the incubator fund status, which is under 25 million AUM. It's really just a process of, again, sending in like a two page form, paying a nominal fee, giving them a copy of the offering memorandum and waiting a few weeks. Right. And notably, the Caymans doesn't have like an incubator fund type structure where you can sort of test the waters for a limited period of time and test the strategy. Right out of the gate for a Cayman Islands based fund, you have to get an auditor, you have to get a fund administrator, which isn't always the case in BVI. So there's certainly more costs involved. Optically, yes, you know, I think the Cayman Islands for a fund is more optically pleasing. You'll find that there's a ton of banks in the Cayman Islands that will cater to crypto based hedge funds. But again, you don't have to bank in the Cayman Islands with a Cayman's fund. Most funds will bank in the Bahamas and, you know, there's a, a slew of banks that, that offer remote openings that don't, um, you know, that cater ex explicitly to 
registered funds, whether they're BVI, Cayman Islands, or elsewhere. So that's my take. I think overall, like the BVI is, is probably ideal, especially if it's a newer fund and you can always move, right? Like just because you start a fund in the BVI doesn't mean you can't redomicile the fund down the road to the Cayman Islands. But I think for an early stage fund to bear that expense in the time that's involved with the Cayman fund, I almost always err to the side of the BVI registration. But optically, many investors, especially family offices, institutional investors and the like, are going to want to probably see something in the Cayman Islands. So that's my take. If you have any questions, absolutely hit me up as usual, adamtracy.io, and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.